Stasis it. Yeah, charge. That's probably a stupid thing. I probably should have just attacked. Finish you off. Finish it up. There we go. Yeah. It just seems. This still bugs me slightly. It just seems really weird. But he's got a lightsaber and a proper blade. A metal blade. Save game. Save. Overwrite. Prunes. Hmm. Where are the ancient ruins? Are they further around? Hmm. Alright, yes. Obviously these are the ancient towards the ancient ruins. Strange ruins. Little mound. What's in here? Hello, creepy music. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Ancient Druid. What language is that? Uh, what are you trying to say? Uh, do you know what this is saying, Vastler? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> Hey, I got that one. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Revan and Malak. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Hence why I can understand that language. Uh, are you some type of guardian? How long have you been here then? Mm, what is the Star Forge? What is the Star Forge? It's the MacGuffin of this game. Um What is it? What does it do? Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. How long have you been here? <laughs> Oh, 
Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. But only when they're proclaimed ex cathedra. Um, I think that's it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Who are these builders? These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. They're the Reapers! <gasps> The droids speak Selkath. Maybe they were the build. No, they were the. They weren't the builders. Well, something must have happened to wipe them out. <gasps> Ooh, maybe the re maybe they weren't the Reapers. Gasp. <laughs> Tell me about the ones who came before us. Oh dear, oh dear. Did you kill the Jedi there? So how can I prove myself worthy? Puzzles! Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Okay. Sigil crystal and another robe. Is that better armor? Slight defense bonus, but mine's, current, mine's much better. Okay, what about Bastila? You can't wear any of these any of this armor. Ooh, you're wearing blue. What? <laughs> no, 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 wrong person. Wrong person. Wrong person. You put that back on, and then you put on those ones. Ooh, they do look quite nice. They look better than the blue ones. That's sad. That's one thing I liked about. I didn't play it that much, but the um, DC Universe Online game. What? If you could upgrade weapon, you could change your suit, your costume, me the me me mechanically with what you put in. I'm gonna save. But if you changed it, you could stick with the, what it used to look like. So first puzzle, I hope. Oh no! Oh no! I want to puzzle. I want to puzzle. Why is it gl Oh, it's a shield. I see. I hope they run out after a while. 
I don't think it does. Charge! Oh dear. I think it's yeah, it resisted. Try again. I think we got it now. I still missed. I'm the best. I, I'm brilliant at this. Go for a flurry! Yeah, you person. I think. Ah, oh, you blinded poor mission! Poor mission. Stun you again. You say. Yes. Curse you! Try and keep mission alive. Yeah. Or not. Oops. I mean, that's not a fire. That's not a flamethrower. Because that it it inca seems to incapacitate. Ancient terminal. I'm here. Get around back to sure. health. Ancient terminal. I was personally hoping for a puzzle, but we just had a fight. Press many buttons at random. Talk to the computer. Kick the computer. Attempt to slice the ancient system. Screen flicks to life. Talk to the computer. Who do go silent? Screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. Here, one of these tones softly echoed by your datapad. A small data receptacle opens in the front of the machine. So, your data datapad. Interfacing with the datapad, the screen goes blank again. The more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. You're sicky, just shoofs. Or you even so. No. I was wondering if it was uh, if this was just uh But if that. Because if, if that's on one, then that's I, which would mean that that's t -p -p, which it can't be. And there's no, there's nothing like that with an apostrophe like that. Retrieve your data pad. Does not budge. Uh, talk to the computer again. The computer go ah, so it un it's got the letters now. It would giving it language. That might be what we're doing. The computer goes silent again, humming softly. It appears to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Okay. Data interpretation. Complete. La complete. Language analysis. Complete. Continue. Interrogate. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. Oh my goodness. Primary life-giving seed world types. Uh, well, I guess Arboreal is one of them. Planetary type conducive to life. Additional seed world types. Grassland. Planetary type conducive to life. Additional seed world type. Oceanic. Planetary type conducive to life. Breaking life seal. Is that good? Did, 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 did good things happen? Wreckage. That's stuff for Tima. I think I did things good well. Ooh, do you have loot? No, you don't have loot. You're lying to me. You're lying with your blue squares. I'm saving. I'm perpetually terrified. Perpetually. Oh, and another one. Oh no, stun it. No, 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 no. Done it. Yeah. Throw the lightsaber. I didn't do anything. Charge! Flurry, 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 flurry. Oh no. 
Okay, that, that's not good. The force fights with me. Yes, it does. Indeed. Oh, you're freezing. Maybe it was fire then. Stop freezing, best. <laughs> you I was going to say she's my best fighter, and that's. <laughs> but then again, to be honest, it's probably rather sensible to go for. Stop it! Stun you again. That didn't work. Stun you again. Actually, stunned you now. Stay stunned. Oh, she's down. Oh, oh. Cure, just in case. Flurry! Flurry! Am I only attacking once? Stop it! <laughs> Being mean! Throw a cure out. Okay, too late. Actually, don't attack. Ow. Come on, mission. Mission, you're my only hope. Ah, oh, that's sad. Kill steel. Being mean. Ambassador. Cures for everyone. Actually, cures for Bastler. Yes. Right. Okay. Right, I assume it's going to be the same thing as again. Hums and thumbs. Talk. Go silent. Screen black. Back it on the data pad. Data pad. Interfacing. Rasiki. Jusufus. Oyun. So huh. It's a sukuf. And now we talk again. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Identify the three primary death giving seed world types. Okay, so I assume it's the other ones then? Right, volcanic. Planetary type conducive to death! Okay. Additional seed world types. Uh, desert. Planetary. I wonder what kind of desert it means. I mean, it's an important question because technically Antarctica is a desert. Right, planetary type conducive to death. Additional seed world uh, types. That's barren then. Breaking death seal. Okay. We broke the death seal and the life seal. This sounds like it's a very, very bad <laughs> thing to happen. Let's save again. Let's see what we can see inside the inner sanctum. It went blue and glowy. Went blue and glowy. Oh, so that means that's because we've broken that seal. So now we break this seal. Um, I'm not doing this. Oh, now I'm doing this. Forward. Wobble, 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 wobble. This, this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where the journey down the dark side began. I don't get it. This is this the Star Forge? No, he said it wasn't. It, this, this is a temple to the glory of the Star Forge. What is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. 